हे एवरी वन दिस इज थ्रोवीन एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई पावर ऑफ स्मिक्स रियलिटी सीरीज यू आर वॉचिंग सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ दिस सीरीज एंड इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट मिक्स रियालिटी कंपोनेंट विच इज व्यू इन थ्री डी सो नाउ लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड नाउ first of all let me explain you what we are going to perform throughout this session so here you can see that i have created one power apps where i can see different product name on the left hand side section and on right hand side section i have used view in 3d component where i am showing this particular product into 3d manner so let's say for an example i clicked on flat tv at this moment and here you can see that preview of the flat tv in a 3d model you can see that you can rotate zoom in and zoom out this particular flat tv into this component and it looks like this amazing right same way let's say if we click on any other product like office chair so it will show that product over here we can zoom in zoom out and also we can rotate that in a 360 degree manner right so this is something that we are going to cover during this session now to get started first of all we need 3d object files at this moment it only supports glb file extension for your 3d file now if you are using windows 10 just click on start button and here you have the 3d viewer available just click on your 3d viewer so it will open a screen like this it is the home screen of 3d viewer now just click on ok button so it will show some 3d objects for you over here right now just click on 3d library now when you open 3d library there are different types of categories available let's say for an example if i am going over here with the animals and insects so you can see different animals or insects into 3d avatar like this let's say for an example i am clicking on this tiger now you can see that tiger's image has been loaded into 3d manner now if i want to use this particular image what i need to do here is i just need to click on file and click on save as so once you click on save as it will ask it will save that particular image into glb format now let's say this is my desktop and i created one 3d folder over here and i am storing that particular image into glb format over here like this right this is very simple and straightforward now let's say whenever you click on 3d library and now let's say if you want some chair image so you can just search for chair and it will show all available chairs over here and based on your uh, requirement you can download any 3d object from here and use it into power apps right so this is something that you can do it for the demo purpose but in the actual and real life environment you need to build this particular 3d image and then you need to use the glb file format for your demo right so this is the first step that you need to download some image files now let me show you one thing this is the folder that i am going to upload on my github account from where you can directly use all the glb objects that i have used in my demo right so github link is available in the description box go there and download all the glb files from there now second thing Dhruvin you have downloaded the 3d object file but now where i can upload this file and how can i use that in the power apps now let me explain you that thing in detail but before we do we need to consider two important constraint which are those two comp uh, two constraint let me explain you in detail the first thing is that wherever we are uploading the images which its link should be https it will not support the link with http the reason is that the security architecture of power apps require https link not http and second thing is that the server that hosts the document must not require authentication and must be chorus compliant right so these are the two important constraint that we need to keep in mind now coming to our question that where we can store this 3d content we can set the source of 3d content as an attachment or media content we can also set that direct url to a glb file and we can pass that as a base64 encoded url during this session i am going to talk about two important method over here the first one is adding the 3d content as attachment or media content and second one is we are also going to use direct url to glb file now 
let's get started with the first methodology over here that said adding a 3d content as a attachment or media content so now let's get started here I am on my PC and you can see that this is one SharePoint list which I have created. The SharePoint list only have a title column over here. Now in order to upload the 3D content over here, you just need to click on new option over here. Now let's provide the name of your image. So let's say I'm uploading an image of tiger. So I'm just storing tiger over here. Click on add attachment. Now upload the 3D object that you wanted to upload. So let's say I am want to upload tiger's image over here. So I'm uploading tiger.glb file over here as an attachment. Now just click on save, right? So this will store tiger's image as a list attachment, right? So similar way I have performed the same procedure for all the other images as well. Now let me explain you how we can consume this 3D images inside the power apps. So now let's get started. First of all, go to web.powerapps.com and go to the app section. From the new apps, click on canvas app. We will create a blank canvas app with tablet layout. Based on your requirement, you can choose different types of layout from here. Now you can see that the blank screen has been created for my power apps. Now we need to use view in 3D component. Now this is the experimental feature. So make sure that you have enabled the experimental feature. Go to the file menu, click on settings, click on advanced setting and from here go to preview feature section. Under preview feature we have an option mix reality in power apps. So we just need to turn on this feature. Right. So once you turn on this feature you will be able to view the 3D models and images into mix reality. Right. So uh, this is the screen we have created. Now what we need to go here is go to the insert and click on media section. From here select view in 3D. This is in preview at this moment. So this will add one 3D component over here on your screen like this. Now we are going to display all the products name over here. Right. For that just establish the list connection. Go to view data source and let's connect our SharePoint list over here. So I'm going to use SharePoint connection over here. So go click on SharePoint and create a connection of your SharePoint site. Now here I'm going to use my mix reality site. So let me just provide the URL of my site over here. So let me copy my mix reality site URL. So just click on mix reality. Now from here we just need to choose our list. So I have uh, stored my all the objects into 3D object list. So let's connect this particular list. So my list connection has been established successfully. Now we just need to add one gallery control. For that go to the insert and from here just select gallery and we are going to select this vertical gallery over here. Right now let's just provide the data source of gallery. So we are providing list as a data source over here and now from here I just want to show the name of the images only. So I'm selecting layout as title over here. So it will show all the detailed information about all the images. Right. Now what I want to do here is I want to uh, whenever I click on any of the images I want to display that particular image inside this component. So how can I do that? Let me show you that procedure in detail. But before we do that, let me explain you some important facts about loading the models from a media content. At this moment, we have used SharePoint list as a data source and we are using attachment or media content to display our 3D object inside the power apps. Now loading the models as attachment or media content works through binary storage associated with the power apps. To check if data connector uses the binary storage or not, we just need to add one label over here in the gallery. Let me just add one label over here, similar label. And now let me just write one code like first this item dot attachments dot value. Now here you can see that the label is starting with appears colon double slash meaning that this data source should works with view in 3d component right so this is one check that we can use 
to determine if your data source is supported binary storage or not and which is supported with this view in 3d component or not right so this is one check now let me just remove that and let me just arrange this properly we have created this product list and we have add view in 3d component as well now we need to provide the data source to our view in 3d component right in order to do that what we need to do here is we just need to click on our view in 3d component then we just need to click on source from here and now here we just need to provide a data source so our data source would be first of whatever the item that is been selected from the gallery so gallery one dot selected dot attachments dot value right so here make sure the formula that you are using is first of gallery one dot selected dot attachments dot value right and don't worry i am going to provide this sample power apps in my github account you can also directly download it from there right now what happened here is let's run this app now let's say for an example i'm clicking on office chairs so it will load the office chairs like this so this is how we can provide the source to our 3d component right same way let's say i'm clicking on oven so the oven image will be looking like this right now let's say we have also added the tiger's image so let's click on tiger so it will load tiger's image in a view in 3d component and here it is you can see that tiger's image into 3d component like this this looks really amazing isn't it now let's say if we want to change this background fill we can just go to the background fill property and we can set the appropriate color for our background right so based on your requirement you can configure the other properties as well now in homework you just need to do some additional things over here you just need to make this power apps uh, in some better manner looking like this you can see that i have added this type of uh, uh, background color home button over here and i am just preparing this type of power apps so we have completed with our first component that is view in 3d right so whenever we are clicking on it it will load the 3d images in view in 3d component and we can easily view the particular image a 3d image inside the power apps right this is something that we have loaded as media or attachment using sharepoint list now let me explain you one more methodology of loading the 3d model inside view in 3d component we can use either github account or dropbox account right now let me explain you that procedure in detail I am going to use my GitHub repository in order to load 3D images directly inside the Power Apps. Now, let me show you that procedure in detail. First of all, let me open my GitHub repository over here. Now, first of all, make sure that you are creating a GitHub repository which is publicly accessible. Now, in order to create that GitHub repository, just go to repository section and click on the new git repository now here make sure that you can create the github repository with public option over here right now i already created one github repository so let me open that github repository over here so i have created a github repository named power apps mix reality lab and inside that i am providing each image for you as well right now let's say whenever i'm clicking on any images it is showing like this right now what we need to do here is we just need to copy this particular URL now go to your power apps now I am going to create a new blank screen for that so I just created the blank screen and now I am adding one view in 3d component so I just added this component now here in source we need to provide the url so i am just pasting that particular url over here right now we need to make some changes over here like as you can see that this is the github url now from this github url we just need to remove this word blob so let me just remove that word first right now 
here https github.com is there now instead of this we just need to use https row.githubusercontent.com right now just hit and enter and you can see that we are able to view this particular image from my github account right now these two changes are first of all we just need to replace github.com to row.githubusercontent.com and uh, we just need to remove the blob from here right so this is how you can directly load the images from your github account using reurl option right i have explained both the methods in detail from how to load the 3d objects using sharepoint list as well as using github account right now in my next session we are going to talk about another important mixed reality component which is view in mixed reality so stay tuned with me on my next session if you have any question related to this topic you can add your questions in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel stay tuned with me on facebook linkedin twitter and whatsapp if you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel click on this link it will be redirecting you to this form fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification on your whatsapp number stay tuned with me have a great day goodbye